Hi, my name is Melissa Gonzalez of Lioness Style, and this is What Types of Forecasting Does a Fashion Company Use? First of all, it's important to remember that although you want to be creative, women shop based on what they are dictated, for the most part, in magazines, runways, so you really want to understand trends, and you really want to understand them early, so that's what you're putting into your production. Maybe not your whole line, but at least some key pieces. So within those forecasts, you want to think about color. What color patterns are they going to be talking about that season? Is it pinks? Are, is it raspberry? Is it lavender? Or is it different shades of blue and green? You also want to think about the different patterns that the majors are going to be talking about. So, you know, are you going to have florals? Are you going to have kaleidoscope? Are you going to have maybe checker prints? That's going to be important for you to work into your silhouettes as well. Is it going to be black and white like I have on today? Um, and then also, what are the key items that you want to be putting into production? Because those are going to be the structures that people are looking for, whether it's for your handbags, for jackets, for different types of tops, maybe the different types of leather skirts that you're going to put into production. Are they long? Are they short? Are they flowy? What is going to be dictated in the magazines when your stuff comes into the stores? And then you want to think about color analysis beyond the clothes. Also, that's important for your accessories. And you want to think about different types of themes that are coming into play. So maybe it's oceanic opulent jewelry, or maybe it's the safari look that's usually big in summertime, but there's different angles on it. Maybe it's tiger print or zebra print this season. And then you want to think about what's happening in culture, what's happening in the movies. So we have The Great Gatsby, which I'm very on trend with, with my tulip tassel necklace. But if that's the look that women are going to be going for, you want to be part of that conversation. Or is it maybe a little edgier and a little sportier? There's different agencies that you can use to get that if you have a budget. You can go to Fashion Snoops, you can go to Style Site, you can go to Trend Council. Or if that's out of your budget, look at magazines and start looking at them early and get the runway recaps because they're usually six months to a year ahead and you can start working that into your production plans. This is Melissa Gonzalez of Lioness Style and we are discussing what trend forecasting you should think about for your fashion company.